Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something really fun with those of you that follow me on Instagram. I asked you on Instagram if you wanted to participate in choosing my nails. I've been seeing this as a huge trend right now, saying Instagram followers decide my day or using the poll feature on Instagram to make different decisions that will dictate the, the results of that. So I thought, why not do that with deciding my nails? So I have bare nails on, I'm sitting at my desk here, this is where I sit and do my nails every week, and I'm recording it and we're gonna have some fun asking different questions on Instagram. I am at Pretty Polishes YT on Instagram if you want to follow me. We're definitely a family on Instagram and you usually get to see things first before they hit YouTube so if you're not following me on Instagram you're definitely missing out. So my nails are bare. They're actually healing after I had shellac on my nails. They got a little bit damaged from doing that but it was definitely a cool experience. I have this little buffer here that has different grits of I guess like sandpaper so um, I've been buffing out my nails and they're getting better so when you see my nails close up don't be alarmed that they're a little bit bumpy after doing shellac but let's move on to the first question so that is going to be the shape of my nails right now I do a little bit of a hybrid of like square and uh, round usually my thumb and my <laughs> index fingers are a little bit more rounded and then the rest of my fingers are squared. I don't know why I just keep my nails that way, but you're going to decide if they are squared or round. So let's get to asking. I'm so excited. Oh my God, so this is so funny. I'm on Pinterest right now trying to find like a picture to show round and versus square nails so that I can use it on Instagram for the voting. And I came across a thumbnail on Pinterest that is one of my videos from, let's see what year this is from. It's my tutorial, Easy French Tips, Square and Round Nails. Wow, and they like have screenshots from my video on this post. This is so funny. I've never even found myself on Pinterest before. 2011, wow, this is so much fun. Wow, I'm having fun already. Also, just looking at some different like nail diagrams, I didn't know there was such thing as squarely round or squoval where it's like a square oval I think that's what my nails are I'm going to ask square or round nails all right the votes are in the results for the shape of my nails are 75% square and 25% round, which I'm a little bit relieved. <laughs> my nails are pretty much squared now, so I'm glad you guys agree. Let's keep them a little more squared. I'm just gonna file them a little bit more squared, like sharpen them up, and, and then we'll move on to base coat. So the results of the next poll are in, and I asked which base coat I should use. So these are both from the Sally Hansen Beautifier collection. And you voted nail primer versus the nail corrector. It was 75 to 25. And get them prepped for polish. Now that my nails are primed, I asked you whether I should paint my nails a bright color or a shimmery color. And the two that I posted to choose from are Peach of Cake, which is this one right here, or Glitty Party, which is this one right here. And the results are 60% bright and 40% shimmery, which is really close and I'm really surprised though because I honestly thought that because it's springtime that the votes would be dramatically towards the bright shade, but both are gorgeous shades anyways. I'm really excited to put this one on my nails. Okay, so I started to apply a peach of cake on my nails, and then I thought, hmm, maybe we should do an accent nail. So I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask if we should do an accent nail. 
20% of you said yes, 20% no, and I clarified the accent nail would be my ring finger and my thumb being a different color. The accent nail will either be this pink shade, which is Hello Pretty, so cute and love the name, or this one's really pretty, After Alter. This one is the uh, Miracle Gel Collection. This really changes everything because Whatever happens next has to match the accent nail. Ooh, okay. It was 50-50 a second ago, but now it is very much cream after altar. Ooh, this is so much fun. It's getting dark, as you can see. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't bother you that it's getting dark behind me, but let's do the accent nail. Now my nails are painted and dry, so on the accent nail, I asked if I should keep it plain or if I should do some nail art. The results of that one, 78% nail art, 22% plain. So we're gonna go ahead and do some nail art. So I already asked the next poll, which is stripes or flowers. So to do the nail art, Really funny, I was looking for my dotting tools and realized that I left all of them at my parents' house. I was there this weekend and was doing my nails, so I left all my dotting tools. So I went into my bathroom and grabbed a bobby pin. We're gonna do this DIY style if you guys vote flowers. If not, we're gonna make some stripes using this thin brush here. So right now the poll is at 50-50. I am going to refresh the page and see what it is at. I have flowers on my toes, so I would ideally like them to match, but okay. So it says 51% flowers, 49% stripes. Wow, that was really close. I'm excited. This is going to be so summery. finished nail art flowers that you all voted for using my DIY bobby pin which worked out pretty well so there's a little trick for you if you don't have any dotting tools then you can definitely use a hair bobby pin even a toothpick would work really well too you get a little bit less of a perfect round dot I find with a toothpick versus a bobby pin because the ends are round but uh, I guess it depends on what size you're looking for. So the last question that I asked was about my top coat and that was high gloss or matte. Again, these are from the Sally Hansen Beautifiers collection that came out a few months ago. And the results are 76% high gloss and 24% matte. We are going with a glossy top coat for my nails, and then I'll come back and show you the finished nails. All right, and that is about it. I asked you nine different polls on Instagram, and these are the finished nails that we got to. So thank you so much for choosing my nail art today. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please do. I will leave a link to it down below. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It was super fun. It's now dark outside. I've been sitting here for two hours waiting for you guys to decide my nails. <laughs> but this was super fun, a little bit different, and I really enjoyed it. So leave me a comment below letting me know what you think. Uh, this was really fun. <laughs> and also leave me your Instagram username down below so that I can make the connection if we've been chatting on Instagram I want to know and vice versa so I will talk to you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye